immense amount of social pressure right now to say certain things or else people might cancel you, publicly humiliate you, call you names on social media. If you dare to say something positive about someone on the other side of the political aisle, you might be perceived as betraying your values or your community. Due to the social dynamic right now, stepping out of our divisions takes a tremendous amount of courage. So how do we harness that courage? I believe that courage is a skill set that can be built, a muscle that can be developed. Here are four steps to practical courage. Step one, know yourself. It's very challenging to step out into the unknown without a sense for your own convictions. Right now, there are so many loud voices vying for our attention. I encourage you to shut off your phone, go for a walk outside, find some green space, and meditate. Let those voices start to fade away until you can hear your own voice, till you get back in touch with who you are, what you value, and what kind of person you want to be. Step two, encounter others. You are not alone. It can feel like the loudest voices are on the extreme edges of the political spectrum, but there are many Americans in the middle who see merit on both sides. You just have to find them. Step three, practice the process. I think of courage as a spiral. It's not always possible to go from nothing to everything in one day. You might not be ready to publicly state something positive about someone on the other side of the aisle, and that's okay. There might be something small you can do that will prepare you for that. You could say something to a friend or family member, someone who you know will love and support you no matter what. With time, you might develop the courage to then speak to a wider audience. Step four, take the risk. At some point, you just gotta step forward and see what happens. So I invite you to seize your courage in publicly posting something you appreciate about someone with whom you disagree politically. Imagine an America where we have the courage to be kind. That's the America I want. Peace. Tune in next time for more peace building and depolarization tips. And join me on the day before the 2020 U.S. election to state what you appreciate about someone with whom you disagree politically using the hashtag BothBelong.